Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm here with another video for you today. Um, so when I was watching other people's videos the other day, him, I, I saw one from Becky at Bex Books and it was for a readathon and that is the OWL exam readathon that is going around. Um, there's a Twitter handle for it which I think is at Magical Readathon. There's no O in Thon because I guess there wasn't enough room. Anyways, it it's a readathon that basically you read a book for each Hogwarts um, so each Hogwarts subject um, and for each book you read you get an owl or a point towards an owl if you read five books you get uh, outstanding owl if you read I think it's three you get exceeds expectations um, if you read two you're acceptable if you start and don't finish any you get uh, dreadful and if you just don't do the readathon at all you get troll which I mean is ridiculous because you obviously didn't but you know it's just I guess if you plan on doing the readathon and you don't actually do anything, you get troll. Um, I think I think that's how it's ranked. Anyways, I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Um, anyways, it looked like a lot of fun. Obviously, like a lot of Potterheads, I wish that I could have gone to Hogwarts. I wish it was a real place. I wish like the classes sound amazing, and it's just something that I wish I could have done. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this readathon. I'm going to list off. I'm going to show you guys um, each book that I would like to read for each subject. Uh, you do only need to do five to get your outstanding. I am just to Hermione to only do five. I'm going to try and do all 12. Who knows? It is a month-long readathon. It started on the 2nd of April, so it's already started. I'm a couple days late. Um, it started on the 2nd, and it goes through until the 29th of April. So there's lots of time. Technically, I should be able to get some of these done. Probably not going to finish all 12. It's just probably not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to try. So the first class is Ancient Runes. So you need the prompt is to read a book with a symbol on the cover. I actually had a really hard time finding a book with a symbol on the cover that I haven't read, but I have decided to read The Novice by Taryn Matharu. Um, there is like this symbol on it. Um, it's a summoner. There's also a symbol right there. So I think this will work for a book with a symbol on it for ancient runes. I've actually been wanting to read this one for a while so I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've been really reading a lot of fantasy so far this year so this should be interesting. The next uh, subject is uh, arithmetic. Um, so you need to read a book with a number in the title or on the cover. I actually I had a again I had a hard time finding a book for this because most of my books that have a number in the title I've already read. So what I've decided to read for this one is Swipe by Evan Angler. There are numbers all over this cover. Like this those numbers are some over here you can't really see them um, but yeah numbers on the cover hopefully this counts I have been wanting to read this this is a dystopian I'm not really sure what it's about other than the fact that you're supposed to have like this code that you can just swipe um, to purchase things and to check into things and basically the way this society keeps track of people is by them having this code and it gets you a lot of perks but you know if you don't have it you are basically homeless and yeah um, so hopefully I enjoy this I think I might have tried to read it before but it was I've had this book forever um, I don't even remember where I got this I might have won this book forever ago I got the, this one and the second one in the series I think it might only be a duology but I'm not sure I don't really know a whole lot about it I I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to know a whole lot about a book going in. Anyways, this is for arithmancy. Hopefully I will enjoy it and hopefully I will get around to it and then enjoy it. The next class is astronomy. 
Um, so the prompt is to read a science fiction novel. I, I have picked This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada. I don't really know a whole lot about this, just that it is science fiction. I'm looking forward to reading this. This was gifted to me. If you have watched my haul, you will have already seen that this was gifted to me through the Reddit book exchange. Really looking forward um, to reading this one. Probably going to make it a priority one for this readathon, just because it sounded so interesting when I picked it up, when, when I got it that I just wanted to read it right away, but obviously I didn't because I've had it for almost a month now. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to this one. Hopefully I can read this and check off astronomy. The next class is Care of Magical Creatures. So you need to read a book with a magical creature either in the book or on the cover. Um, for all of these books, I tried to pick something off of my bookshelf because I just, I need to get some of these books that I own read. Um, so I have picked Dragon's Wood by Janet Lee Carey. I've had this book forever, like literally, I think I've had it for eight or nine years and I haven't read it, which is really sad um, because I was really excited to. This book has dragon and fairies in it, so there are magical creatures. I've been wanting to read it for a long time. I just haven't got around to it. So hopefully I will enjoy this one. Um, the fifth class is Charms, which is to read a fantasy novel. I don't have this one. This is like the only book on this list that I don't have. And that is Tempest and Slaughter by Tamara Pierce. Um, this book is the book that I'm supposed to read for my book club this year. <laughs> from a book club this month so I'm really hoping that I get around to it because I have been reading um, some of Tamara Pierce's other books and I've been really enjoying it like right now I'm reading Wild Magic by her and enjoying it quite a bit probably done it be done in the next couple days um, I kind of wanted to try and read all of her books before getting to Tempest and Slaughter, but I don't think it's going to happen, so I'm probably just not going to try. Um, I might just try and finish the Immortals series before reading that one, just because um, the character in Tempest and Slaughter is also in the Immortals, so I'm going to try and do that, I guess. <laughs> Um, the next subject is Defense Against the Dark Arts, um, and the prompt is to read a book with a secret society or a secret club in it. So for this one, I have decided to read Secret by L. Marie Adeline. This is a romance novel. I think it might actually be erotica. I'm not sure, but basically this is about a secret society called Secret. Um... <laughs> which I believe is a sex fantasy club. I, I don't know, but I picked this up forever ago. Probably, I think I picked this up when Fifty Shades of Grey was huge. I've never read Fifty Shades of Grey. And I don't really have any desire to, but I did pick this one up. I think I might have got it. I don't even know where I picked this up from, um, but yeah. I'm probably going to read this one because I like to read smut once in a while so this will probably fit in there. It's about secret society. It's all I could find on my shelf that I haven't read that is about a secret society or a club so hopefully I will enjoy this one. Next up is divination um, which is to read a book that features a prophecy. I had a hard time finding something on my shelf that was not Harry Potter that has a prophecy in it. I had to go to the internet to try and find something um, and I heard this one does have a prophecy. I'm not sure. Hopefully it does because I don't know what else I'm going to read. And that is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I've had this book forever. I've been wanting to read this book forever. So hopefully this does have a prophecy in it so that I can use it for this prompt and get this book read finally because I really need to. I like the Brandon Sanderson books that I've read so far, so I would like to read this one as well. The next one, the next subject is Herbology, and for this one it is to read a book that has some nature related word in the title. Um, so I've actually, so I've actually picked my current read for this one because why not? It fits, and I have been working away at this one for a couple of days. Um, 
I think I've only read it for two days and I'm about a third of the way through. So I need to actually get, sit down and like concentrate on this book some. Um, and I really want to read it because it's by a Canadian author and I'm trying to read one book by a Canadian author a month. I don't know if this will count towards March because I started this in March but haven't finished it yet. Um, but I'll probably count it just because. Anyways, that book is The Summer Tree by Guy Gabriel K. Um, this book is really short. Like, not short like this way, but like short. It's just a short book compared to other books. Like, like, like you know, it's, it's oddly shaped. Anyways, so far it's been a pretty quick read. Um, this is a basically a portal fantasy. There are some kids from Toronto that get sent to um, Fiona, I think it's pronounced Fionavar, but I'm not sure. Fionavar, something like that. It is a another world that they're sent to and things happen. <laughs> so, um, so far I'm really enjoying this. I have the whole series of this. I was gifted it from the Reddit book exchange like two years ago, the whole thing. So I'm due to read this. Like I have needed to read this for a long time and it fits and I've already been working on it. So I might as well throw it in for Herbology. The next class is a history of magic and it's to read a historical fiction. I have picked The Orphan's Tale by Pam Genoff. Um, I saw this in Walmart last year, picked it up because it looked like something I'm really interested in. It is World War II fiction, um, something I've really been into. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Hopefully I will get to it because I have been wanting to read some historical fiction lately and I think this will fit in and we'll just, I think this will fit for, for that need of mine to read something historical fiction. So basically what this one is about is this girl, um, gets pregnant by a Nazi soldier and her family forces her to give up the baby and basically disowns her. So she's living above a train station and this train pulls up and there's a car, a car full of Jewish infants. Um, so basically she sees these infants and she grabs one and she steals one and then I don't know what happens after that, but I will be very interested in finding out. It sounds like it's going to be a heartbreaker for sure, um, but it should be good. The next subject is Muggle Studies, which is to read a nonfiction book. So for this one, I have decided to read You're Never Weird on the Internet, Almost, by Felicia Day. I love Felicia Day. Um, I used to watch The Guild. Um, mini series that she had and I just absolutely loved it so she is one of my she is one of my favorite actresses and I just love her and want to read this because I think she's hilarious and hopefully that comes across in this book. Um, next up is potions and that is to read a book featuring alchemy. I had a hard time figuring out if I had a book that featured alchemy on my shelf that I hadn't read um, and I think this one does, according to the internet, it does. And that is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I've had this book forever, like literally forever. Like I think it's probably been 10 years since I've bought this book and I haven't read it yet. So hopefully I will enjoy this. Um, I'm looking forward to reading it because I've been interested in reading it forever, which is why I haven't gotten rid of it yet. So hopefully this is good and I will enjoy it a lot. Um, and hopefully it has alchemy in it because if not, I guess I'll be really disappointed. But it literally says in the synopsis that um, the scholar unearths an enchanted alchemical an enchanted alchemical, alchemical uh, manuscript, so alchemy, maybe? I don't know. And the last subject is Transfiguration, and that is to read a book that has transfiguration or shape-shifting or a cat on the cover because 
Professor McGonagall transforms into a cat. The book that I have picked for my Transfiguration class is Thornhill by Kathleen Peacock. This is the second book in her trilogy, um, The Hemlock. It's a Hemlock series. It's called The Hemlock series. Anyways, um, it's about werewolves, so obviously there is some shape-shifting in there for me. So yeah, these are the 12 books that I'm hoping to read for this readathon um, this month. Hopefully I can do it. If not, well, then I guess I'm just going to be a troll. But <laughs> I should at least get five of them read. I'm going to look, um, I believe on their Twitter, there is like certain classes you can pick for certain uh, uh, careers in the wizarding world. Um, they are also planning on doing a newt level readathon. So in order to do your NEWTs, you have to have read the book that fits that category to do that. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll enjoy it and get just channel a little bit of Hermione to get that reading done. Um, so let me know down below if you're participating in this and if you are what you're reading and I will see you guys later. Bye!